Hi guys, it's Nicole here with Mommy Tips by Cole. I'm so excited to finally be filming this video for you guys. I've been doing this collaboration for the past couple of years and it is the best of 2015 for mommy and kids and all of the moms that have participated in the past have given so many of us amazing ideas of products to try out for the new year while this video is already into February of 2016. These are products that I am still using um, that I have maybe introduced to in the past year or maybe something that I've been using for a while. So I was trying to find things that I didn't want to repeat from previous best of videos. Um, so hopefully you find this video helpful and in addition to my ultimate favorites for 2015. This is in collaboration with three channels that I'm sure many of you guys already follow. Of course, the 411 Mamas. All of the mamas have contributed their ultimate top uh, mommy product and their ultimate top kid or baby products. So definitely check out and subscribe. I will link them down below as well. And Jeannie from A Little About A Lot. You guys know how much I love her and I met her um, on our Vegas Mommy Meetup. And Michelle from I'm A Mommy. Also her channel is known as Michelle Pearson. Um, I have not met Michelle yet but we have been doing this collab for quite some time and we started our channels around the same time and it's just been so fun to see her family grow and I just love all of the ladies that are in this collaboration so please check out their channels and their video links down below subscribe to them if you haven't already I'm sure many of you are and to those of you that are coming to my channel from any of the other channels welcome I am a mom of three expecting my fourth so who knows by the time this video is up this fourth baby will be here but I'm really excited to share the things um, that I have been loving. So first I'm going to start with the kids items. Well more so this is a family related item that helps me tremendously. So last year I mentioned how I love my Erin Condren planner um, but I don't think I mentioned that I am obsessed with my wall pops calendar. It is a calendar that sticks to our fridge. It can stick to a wall. You can remove it, put it back. It's dry, You use dry erase markers and I use it every single month. It helps us stay on task with all of our doctor's appointments, all the kids schedules for dance, my schedule for work, um, any events that we have going on, birthdays, um, Anything you can think of, it keeps our family organized. It keeps kind of everybody on the same page. It's easily accessible for me to see if I need to cancel or reschedule things. Um, it just helps me so, so much, even more so than my planner. So I seriously cannot live without that calendar. I just fixed it to reflect um, the start of our February schedules. And I highly, highly recommend it. I will leave a link down below for you guys. I've mentioned this in multiple other favorites and types of videos. So that is the ultimate number one thing that I'm obsessed with uh, for my family. Secondly, um, the wet brush. So I think I mentioned before in the past that I love the wet brush. I have one for for me and the girls that we were both, we were all, three of us were using a black one and I recently picked up these from Justice. They're the wet brush, but they have their initials on them. So Emmeline has hers and this is Malia's, but these are the best brushes if you have girls or even for yourself to brush out tangles um, without it damaging your wet hair. You can use it when it's wet um, and it doesn't hurt. So the kids will only use the wet brush. Also, I'm obsessed with the girls' dance bags. If you guys didn't know by now, my kids are in dance and I work at the dance school um, and my eldest is on the competition team and for Christmas we got them the colors, purple, white, and black um, dance bag. It's It ended up being much bigger than I thought and we had it um, embroidered with their names and it fits everything. Um, going back and forth to the dance school six days a week. Um, it has helped so much, especially for my eldest, because she carries a ton of things. So that has been, even though that was a year-end purchase, um, it's something that I know that they can use as long as, you know, 
the zipper doesn't break or whatnot, um, they're going to get to use for quite some time. Next is something that I have told you guys so many times about. It is our Mabel's labels, and these are multiple labels that we have um, for me, even for each of my girls and my son, and even have one set that says Team Iniguez. And of course, I'm going to get um, a set made for Colby after she's here. Um, they have a label on their book bag, the lunch bag, they have labels on their sneakers, they have these um, shoe labels, they have labels on certain jackets and school supplies. Um, this has just been such a lifesaver, even for their lunch products, um, especially to distinguish between the three of them so that I know which one's for who, they know who what's for who. Um, it just makes life so much easier having everything labeled and this has also helped so much last year during the recital because they have so many costumes so you know things can be easily get mixed up so you want to make sure that your child goes home with the right thing and I cannot live without our Mabel's labels. In addition to that, they're obsessed with all these Kids Bop CDs. These are the recent ones, 29, 30, and 31. There was even a Christmas one. Um, they're all current uh, music, but sung by the Kids Bop kids. And, you know, they're safe to listen to. There's, you know, no bad words and stuff. Um, it's censored and, you know, these are great to have, especially if your kids like to dance and sing because you know that it's a safe version for them to listen to. So now I'm going to move on to some household items and the first would have to be our Swiffer Wet Jet. I have been wanting to get this for the longest time and I finally made the purchase um, to get the Wet Jet and basically it is like the Swiffer except it has the um, button where you can press to disperse the liquid from the Swiffer brand um, and I like to use the lavender scent and has made cleaning up the kitchen floor such a breeze don't have to get on my hands and knees just press the button and remove the pads from the bottom um, once I'm done cleaning the floor and I just spray it wet it clean it scrub it it dries and throw out the pad and then replace it I'm probably gonna be using that for some for a while kitchen items but you know these are more so items that um, the kids have been using also for myself, I even use these easy lunch boxes to pack um, snacks and stuff or lunch uh, for myself for work, uh, for them after school when we go to dance, also for lunches at school especially. Um, you guys know I have done like multiple uh, videos on our like bento um, inspired lunches. And of all the lunch boxes I've tried, this has got to be my ultimate favorite. They're easy enough for the kids to open. They're easy to wash. You can microwave them. You can um, wash them in the dishwasher. Dish washer. Um, they come in obviously like a multiple, um, multiple different types of colors for the tops. Um, and then also I use the labels to label theirs, and they have a ton of these. They're just such a lifesaver um, for packing their lunch and after school snacks. In addition to that, what makes everything easier too is their packet lunch boxes. They're freezable lunch bags. There's insulation in here with um, like in insulated ice packs basically. And then you put them in the freezer. As you can see, there's Mabel's label here. Um, you put them in the freezer and close them up. And then in the morning, um, you open it up and you put the lunch inside and it keeps the lunch cold until they have lunchtime, which is usually only a couple hours after they start school. And I even have one that I use for um, our after school, um, you know, dance classes and for work. I don't really have any like food or um, things like that worth mentioning, but I do want to mention how obsessed we are with vitamin water. Um, we are just always replenishing this every week. Um, the kids love it, me and Brian love it, and this is one of our new flavors that we loved and discovered last year. It's the Orange Orange. I don't like the Zero Kind, and it's just so good. And you know what we do? We actually like, put it in the freezer and let it get slushy, and then take it out. It's so good. Even in the winter, we're still drinking this, but in the summer, like that's the best thing ever, is having like a slushy vitamin water. I don't even know what brand this is, but we got this from an event, but basically you suction this to the mirror. We have three of these and it holds their toothbrush. 
So they put their toothbrush in there and then it closes up. And what I like about this is that it keeps the toothbrush away from any like dust particles and such um, while it's hanging up on the mirror and it's easily accessible for the kids. Moving on, I'm going to talk about some electronic related items. First would have to be this Philips um, antibacterial screen cleaner. We have like three of these. I keep one by my desk, one in our um, like, it's not a diaper bag, but like our go-to dance and you know universal type of bag um and then also one you know downstairs by where they kind of charge and store their tablets and ipads um being that our kids have tablets and an ipad and you know all that we all have electronics we all have phones and we're constantly using them on a daily so that is where most of the germs are so we are always us as an adults are spraying and cleaning daily um, all of our electronics and it comes with this cloth um, so you know keep those germs away and keep the tablets and everything in our phones clean and they also smell really good this one's romantic rose next electronic type of item I can't live without I might have mentioned this last year but it's my portable charger I have this anchor one that my cousin gave to me probably two years ago and it is still good um, you just charge this um, and then it's a portable charger so that you can you know charge your phone on the go I also got this other one um, from an event so I actually make sure that they're both charged as much as often as possible and then I keep them in my bag just in case I need to charge my phone um, on the go and I'm not near an outlet so that has been such a lifesaver especially when you're like on vacation or maybe you're at an amusement park or or whatnot Disney World. When we were in Disney World, it helps so much. So what I just got last year, finally, I converted to the Mac. I am an Apple user now, and I got the MacBook Pro. I think I did a video on this, and I'm obsessed with this, you know, like, dust cover here. I got an Amazon for, like, a couple bucks, and then my case here, um, double-sided. Um, I can't live without my MacBook now. It has been the biggest investment um, we've had, especially relating to making videos. I'm just so beyond happy that I finally switched over to a Mac. In addition to that, when I got the MacBook, I knew that I was going to be having a ton of files and I didn't want to bog down the computer, so I purchased the Seagate 5 terabyte um, external hard drive and this is such a lifesaver. This is where I save everything. I just keep this by my desk and I transfer all my, you know, videos and footage and everything on here, photos, and it's just such huge storage and lifesaver. Another electronic item that I have to mention, got this at the end of the year, but I have to definitely mention it. It's the Sony um, A5100. My parents got this for me for Christmas. This is my new vlogging camera. Obsessed, obsessed. I got this because multiple friends here on YouTube have this and have, you know, raved about it. The quality is amazing. Um, it is a little bit bulkier than the pocket-sized um, Canon one that I had that broke in the summer. But, oh my god, I just like so happy that I have this in time to vlog the baby's birth. As far as apps, I have to say my ultimate favorite app for 2015 has to be Snapchat. I just signed up with it last year, obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. Just like when Instagram came out and, and a lot of us were obsessed with Instagram, I feel like I'm always on Snapchat. It's like the easiest way of vlogging without really vlogging. Um, I'm on there every day, almost practically almost every day, and I know a lot of you guys are. Um, so my handles, Mommy Tips by Cole, just like everything else is, but that is the easiest. No hashtags needed. I don't have to tag anybody. Just snap and add it to my story, and there we go. And I, I love it because I can keep up with all of you guys on there because it's been so hard to watch videos. Um, so being able to watch quick snippets of what's going on in your daily lives is just really fun. I love it more than, you know, pictures on Instagram and I'm like rarely on Instagram now which is bad um, but snapchat definitely an app that my kids are obsessed with 
more so at the end of last year is that app Musical.ly. I don't have one for myself. Emily and Malia have their own. Um, and they basically, it's an app where you lip sync um, and there's like ways to edit your video. Um, and it's like a big thing amongst like kids. Um, I have not used it yet. Um, Emmeline uses it with her, her siblings and her friends at dance and she's done a few of them with um, with her dad, with Brian. So um, if your kids like to sing and they love dancing, it's just like a fun app. I mean, if you feel safe with them having, um, you know, their own account with the app, which I definitely monitor. Last, I'm going to move on to beauty items. I don't have too, too many. I'm not going to make this like a best of beauty thing, but I did have some things that I thought were worth sharing um, that I like to use. Sorry, I'm going out of frame, but first would be skincare. So I don't generally use one main skincare item for an entire year. I like to rotate it. Um, you know, right now I'm using another brand, but for the majority of the year I was using Tula. And Tula is um, probiotic. Um, it's made with probiotic technology. The smell is amazing. I did a skincare video um, showing how I use these products. Um, and also there's like this face mask here, exfoliating treatment mask that I am always using and that I have even used with Brian. But I definitely love, love, love Tula. And then once I rotate again, I'm gonna go back to this because I still have so much left. Um, and then these are not even a year old yet. So, you know, these are generally good for up to a year. Um, but, you know, I highly recommend you guys to check out uh, Tula. Uh, skincare line. Next thing I thought worth mentioning was my um, scent bird. This is just a purple one case that I happen to have, but I have a pink one. Have, and then the ones that the general ones they have is black. This is like a special line with these colors. Um, but in here is my ultimate favorite perfume ever. It is Gucci Rush. Um, this just just reminds me of like back in the day this was my ultimate favorite perfume and I've had I think this is my third one with them but you can get any any perfume in this size um, and these are so great to just throw in your purse and I'm not really one to collect expensive perfumes or invest in expensive perfumes I love these trial size ones because they're great for travel and they're great to throw in your bag and sometimes if you forget to put it on you know that it's there in your makeup bag or your purse. Also worth mentioning are these brushes by Beauty Junkies. I did a video um, on this, um, how I use each brush. I have been using this for at least half of last year into this year and they're so soft, they're affordable. Um, they're just great brushes, definitely worth um, the purchase because they are affordable and they're great quality these are all that I use every day so um, definitely check those out Actually, I might have a coupon code um, that I'll link down below if it still works probably. Also, I have to mention these my friend um, Kat from IGK Fam TV she got me these I think she got these at Daiso it is like um, I think a Korean dollar type of store with so many types of products. I want to go there one day, but we don't have one near me. Um, but these are wet head cotton buds. Basically, what you do is you take one and they're damp. You take one and the way to open it is you open it from the center and each side is moist. So it makes like cleaning up any harsh edges on your um, eye makeup or cleaning up the inside, you know, sometimes stuff gets in there from when you're doing your makeup and you don't want to rub it with your fingers so this like gets in there to get out you know any like excess makeup and such um I don't know I'm trying to be very using these sparingly because I only have one pack but um I need to find where I can get these now. um a new lipstick that I discovered last year from my BoxyCharm box was by Lip Bar it is this really I know it kind of looks like an obnoxious purple, but when it's on and against my skin tone, especially in the summer, it looks so good and it feels, sorry, I just had a coughing attack. It feels amazing on my lips and look like down to that much. I love this and the color is Purple Rain and I've gotten so many compliments on this and even look at the packaging itself. 
so unique. Um, hopefully you find some of these items helpful. If you get to try them, let me know. Or if you've already tried them, let me know your experiences. Don't forget to check out the 411 Mamas video. Jeannie from A Little Bala and Michelle from I'm a Mommy linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed my best of 2015 and I'll see you in my next video.